Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the sports side here on Midday Live. My name is Juliette Bewa. We begin from the camp of Accra Hard to Work as they prepare to unveil their coach Herbert Addo in the next two hours. The Phobians settled on the former Inter Allies coach after a long search for a substantive coach to replace the departed Mohamed Polo, who acted as a stopguard coach for the Accra based club for six months. Herbert, who started training with the team on Tuesday, has entreated his players to work hard to bring back the club on top and restore that lost phobia glory. The club placed third in the 2013-2014 First Capital Plus Premier League and hope to improve on it in the coming season. We we'll go over and do something on the Commonwealth Games ongoing in Glasgow, Scotland. And Ghana's Janet Amponsa was the only bright spot for Ghana during the tw uh, women's 200 meter event, which began um, at the Hamden Park in Commonwealth Games. She finished second in a, hate in a time of 24.05 seconds, as race was won by England's Jodie Williams in a time of 23.42 seconds. Amponsa thus qualified for t um, Thursday's semi finals and will be racing. With with the likes of Samantha Henry Robinson of Jamaica and England's Bianca Williams. Janet Amponsa will be in lane six in his three of the women's 200 meter semi final in Glasgow. Okay, let's go over and hear from Janet Amponsa who will be competing in that heat later this evening. I think Scotland is different from um, India. Go India and we went there without even giving us a uh, running vest and other stuff. But this year, things are different. Different. We get running vests, shoes, bags, and a lot of stuff. So I'm really happy. Hmm. Everyone is here for me now. And there is a lot of who is going to compete. So for now, I can't promise them I'm going to bring them medal and they should be come. Okay, so we'll be wishing um, Janet Amponsa there all the best of luck, hoping that she makes it through the final of the 200 um, meter, um, which will take place later tomorrow. But let's move over and do something on beach soccer. We've been talking about football, football, but this time we're doing something on beach soccer and the Confederation um, Beach Soccer. And I have in the studio with me Yao Ampofo Ankra. Yao, thank you so much for joining me here in the studio to talk about beach soccer. Thanks very much. Good to see you. Um, um, let's let's talk about what exactly give us an update of the latest regarding to beach soccer okay um, obviously we went for a break on a break before the World Cup um, in order to support the Black Star so we're back now and the league resumes on uh, the 9th of August it's, a, it's in a couple of weeks time and hopefully we'll pick up and complete what we started it's, it's been quite tough um, because of all the attention on other sports, you know, you think beach soccer, soccer is in there, but it is quite a different sport, and uh, we're having quite a lot of challenges, you know, um, especially with infrastructure and logistics and what have you. But hopefully, 9th August, we will um, restart and uh, we'll complete on time. Yeah, but what is next after starting? What is next for me? Okay, now what's happening now is that we have. Um, the first ever African Cup of Nations in um, Seychelles next year and Ghana would want to participate in that. I mean it's raw, the sports in Ghana, we, we, our infrastructure is not up to the standard of maybe the Senegalese or the Nigerians who've been doing it for about 10 years now but I think the talent is there and the good news is that the GFA will now be um, dealing directly with FIFA or should I say will be dealing directly with uh, FIFA through the GFA and hopefully that would give us um, you know, a lift in terms of getting the infrastructure base right, um, more sponsorship exposure, more players, and also spreading beach soccer around the regions, and not just the coastal areas of Ghana, but around the region. So hopefully next year will be a big year when Ghana can play in the, the African Cup of Nations beach soccer. But we've been talking about football, but when it comes to beach soccer, 
you have been actively involved in beach soccer. What are some of the major challenges? Mm. Um, in, t in 2007, eight thereabouts, that's when beach soccer was, um, cons was officially recognized as, as a serious competitive sport in Ghana. But then there, were no, um, there was no beach soccer ball in Ghana. There were no beach soccer arenas. There were no beach soccer referees. Even the goalpost, the measurement is a specific um, side. So all these things had to be learned from scratch online and then gradually we got the attention of you know the, the bodies to help us with um, training of referees training of coaches uh, we're still in the process it's it's slow because hmm, corporate Ghana they 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 want or in my opinion I think a lot of corporate Ghana wants the thing to be polished and ready-made before they go near it but I think if they would come on board like cow bank like Baltic mineral water and cook it from from its raw stage when it's ready it would actually look like a, a better brand so we're calling on corporate Ghana to come on board and push to be soccer they come in on board means they have to see something different what what <laughs> added thing are you bringing on board yeah that's what I'm saying that they look come on board as a partner and also let's have your vision of how your brand wants to be and then in in partnership we can create this new brand which is still in the process of you know uh, getting its proper identity we, we still don't have a beach soccer culture in Ghana the identity is not quite there so what I'm saying is that if, if a corporate brand comes in now and gives it that identity with the sport entertainment uh, music I think that is what we're looking for rather than watching us suffer and struggle and then you know when when it's almost ready they come on board yeah okay yeah thank you so much for joining us thank here you. on midday live we have been speaking to Yampo Popanka who is the president of Ghana Beat Soccer that's how we end sports here on midday live my name is Julia Doha we'll take a break we'll be right back